A day before Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau's proposed meeting with Prime Minister Modi, a major controversy has erupted. Uh, invites uh, to a convicted Khalistani terrorist to events in honor of the Canadian Prime Minister has sent shockwaves uh, to bilateral ties. The convicted Khalistani terrorist Jaspal Atwal was photographed with the Canadian Prime Minister's wife Sophie at an event in Mumbai. Atwal was also invited for a dinner in Delhi hosted by the Canadian High Commissioner Nadir Patel. After outreach, the invitation has been cancelled. Jaspal Atwal, a member of banned radical group International Sikh Youth Federation, has been convicted in a case of attempted murder of a Punjab minister. He was one of the four men who ambushed and shot the Punjab minister Malkiat Singh Sidhu's car in 1986. It seems to be a mistake. He was convicted of an offence that was alleged to have been committed by him in Canada. And it, he was convicted by a Canadian court. He must have already served the sentence. And this conviction may not have uh, come to the notice of the High Commissioner. But I believe that the High Commissioner has already initiated proceedings for rescinding the invitation. I believe that the visiting Prime Minister as a head of the state uh, Mr. Trudeau should also respect the sentiments of uh, government of India and especially the Chief Minister of Punjab and the people of Punjab and our strong opposition to anything related with terrorism. He is a head of the state and I think he has conveyed in as many words uh, yesterday to Captain Amrinder Singh Ji that they will, uh, the government of Canada does not support terrorism in any form and I think they should stick to that stand. Meanwhile, in a damage control bid, Canada has expressed regret over the incident. A Canadian Prime Minister, Canadian Prime Minister Christy Duncan, has uh, said that they are looking into uh, the matter. Uh, this person should, of course, never have been invited. That invi and the invitation has now been rescinded. We're looking into how this happened. And um, we know when there's international travel, sometimes people will come forward whether they have been invited or not. All right, that was the Canadian minister speaking to the press. Uh, meanwhile, news is coming in. Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau's office has responded to the controversy surrounding Khalistani terrorist Jaspal Atwal. The, this individual should never have been invited to any event uh, on uh, events on the program and his invitation has been uh, uh, taken back. We are in the process of looking into how this happened. That said, it's important to be clear that uh, this individual is not part of the official delegation to the PM's visit to India, nor was he invited uh, by the Prime Minister's office. As is the case with international trips, individuals sometimes travel on their own to the location of the visit. We have Geeta Mohan, our foreign affairs editor, who's with us on the phone line. Uh, Geeta, a detailed clarification coming in from Justin Trudeau's office. Well, that's why, right, Simi. The big news coming in is that the Prime Minister's office of Canada has come out and distanced uh, distance itself from this entire incident, saying that they do not really know how this invitation was extended to someone who uh, is a known Khalistani terrorist. Uh, the Prime Minister's office is making a, a this is a damp control mode that the PMO of Canada really is in Sini, given that he was already spotted in uh, at the dinner on the 20th. He has been spotted in the past with Justin Trudeau. And more importantly, now what we're looking at is whether if he was going to attend the dinner this evening as well. That dinner invitation has been rescinded and also the Prime Minister's office now looking into the matter as to how is it that the, Indian High, that the Canadian High Commission in India, which was supposed to look into all the dinner invitations, uh, allowed this to really happen. Gita, thanks so much for that. We're going to keep coming back to you for more on this story. The Home Ministry is probing whether Khalistani terrorist Jaspal Atwal's name was removed uh, from the visa blacklist. Home Ministry sources say that if Atwal was on the blacklist, then he would uh, have been red flagged before the visa was issued by the Indian High Commission in Canada. Every consular office across the world has a blacklist available to them. All right, we're trying to get uh, more from our reporters on the ground. The Home Ministry has now launched an investigation. It's trying to find out whether Khalistani terrorist Jaspal Atwal, who was seen with the Canadian Prime Minister's wife at an event in Mumbai, has been removed from the blacklist that's usually available with the embassies, with Indian embassies abroad. 
Home Ministry sources say that if Atwal was on the blacklist, then he would have been red flagged before the visa was issued by the Indian High Commission in Canada. The Home Ministry sources say every consular office across the world has a blacklist available to them. The Home Ministry is trying to ascertain whether Atwal's name was removed from that blacklist. Thanks for watching the video. For more such news and updates, please like, share, and subscribe to India Today. Also, check out our other great videos from our channel. We know you would love to.